Hi guys, welcome back to pen Gaming for another episode of Airport CEO. So, if you missed the last episode, we started doing some of the security and the, the checking desks. So we're going to continue with this airport. Um, I did um, have a comment left to say I missed the uh, exit point, so <laughs> uh, I can't believe I missed that. But uh, So we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm um, going to put them here, I think. So basically, I need to basically get rid of these. So uh, that little bit of wall piece there. I'm going to replicate it on the other side as well. So there we go. Well, just wait. I'm going to speed this up a little bit more. Um, <coughs> um, my only concern now is really with having uh, doing this with a small, smallish terminal. Um, but the, the the baggage collection point as such is probably going to have to be here and here and I think it's going to be very small for the amount and very busy for the amount of uh, stands I've got on there so uh, we may need to come back and revisit that uh, and maybe change uh, the way the security bit is in here but uh, we'll, we'll get it set up and then um, We'll see how it see how it turns out to be, shall we? So, right, uh, must be must border an open secure zone. So is it the way around? That's because um, this has come off here. So if we now do that, there we go. We have to do the same on this side. So put that in place there. There we go. Right. Okay, so we put in our first um, boarding desk. Well, sorry, two boarding desk. Um, and we, we'll, uh, the idea was to bring the um, conveyor belt system underneath here. I think and back around. So I was going to expand because that's underground at the moment. Oh, what's going on? All right, here we go. That's fine. Um, so, I was thinking. I mean, I suppose you can go underground and come. Yeah, it's not really ideal being outside, really, is it? So, I was thinking. Uh, if I put this little section here as a terminal. So, where are we? Terminal foundation. Now what am I doing? Terminal foundation, yeah. Why is that showing as double block? So it's not normal. Structure position not valid. Is it because it's on there? So if I. Is it because I've got a um, path down there already? It must be. Or sidewalk. I'm clicking on loads of uh, menus here and I'm not sure what I'm doing. So, so I'm trying to get rid of that. So, oops. We get rid of that area there. Oh, they're shooting over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get right on this side first, and then I'll replicate it on the other side. And actually, that was foundation then, wasn't it? There, there it was, yeah. So I've just pretty much um, dug it up and uh, put it back down again. But uh, <laughs> never mind. Right. So it doesn't look right, does it? So if I join it up so to there, maybe. Can I not? Why can't I put a wall there? Is it? Have I got to dig this bit up as well? Why? 
Why does the block seem to be dead bigger? I'm sure it didn't used to be like that, but uh, uh, so if I get rid of that there. Uh, I'm sure they didn't I'm sure I didn't need to uh up it that size, but um so far and I do that. There we go. And then we're gonna have to clear these uh these walls aren't we? So Get rid of that bit there and that bit there. <coughs> right, I'm not sure. There we go. Doesn't look right as such. Right, what's what am I doing? What am I doing? Get rid of them there. And then right. To be fair, they don't even need that. I shouldn't really, didn't really need to do that as such, really, because uh, the conveyor belt system is going underneath. So let's um, baggage. Um, another thing with doing this is I'm not going to have any. Uh, it's not going to be scanned as such, is it? Um, so where. I said I was going to maybe put something on the front, didn't I? So if I put. If I. Will this fit in there? No, it not. It's just typical, isn't it? So. I could potentially have it something like that. But then. Um, Hmm, this is uh, turning and turning out to be a little bit difficult than I thought. Um, um, so, I mean, I could uh, basically to get this to work, I'll probably need to make uh, the foundation a little bit bigger or do the scanning as such. I could probably do it here, but um, it's taking space out of the terminal. Um, Just thinking, just thinking what a bit best idea, really. So if I put that there, so it'll come up, and then we'll need to. So. Right, bear with me on this, guys. It's all experimental. So I'm going to put another block in there and then I'm going to get rid of these walls so if I just put that there so right okay and then so if I well we said we weren't going to have too much security on it I mean how big does that is that so if I uh, which way does the uh, rejector come off? Is that the right way? And then the rejector comes off. So if I put that there. So let's go on here and. Um, oh my word. I'm not sure what I'm looking for underground, so get rid of that. And then I can put that there. Oh, so I didn't really need to get that rid of that, did I? Because now it's going to be underground. Now will that just go straight across off there like that? Can't be placed on walls. Why I'm going underground? So why? I did select on. Oh, I selected overground, didn't I? That'll be why. All right. So if I do that there, then and then that there, and then we put in. If I just put overground there, and then underground there. All that, yeah. So that's right. Okay. Even though it's as such, it's come back up. 
not going down, should I say. Um, so I'm going to need to make this a bit more now for the uh, the, the, the destroyer. Um, so how big does this destroyer need to space as it need to be? If I leave one, so well, I'm just going to have to build another block, aren't I? As such, so. Uh, get them to quickly do that. Once again, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Alright, so then we need to take out this wall here and here. There we go, alright, so conveyor belt, so destroyer, cargo destroyer, so plonk that there. And I, I, I'm just, I've just realised now, totally, this is not going to work at all, is it? Because this is just for the. Well, no, actually, no, because no, that's feeding them all, isn't it? Yeah, that's feeding them all. What am I thinking? I'm thinking they need their own line for each one, but they don't. Right, okay. I'm getting confused. Easily done, I suppose. Overground, so let's get that in there. Right, okay. Wow, this is... Um, right, so that's now got the baggages going in, so that's okay. Now we need to get the baggages coming out and we need to find a place to drop them off which is going to have to be in this area here. Well, I'm going to do that to start off with to see how busy it gets. Um, so I'm going to go overground just to come out one. Make sure I get this the right way. There we go and then we need to go underground. So underground and you can't go adjacent to them so I'm going to, have to bring it across like that and I'm going to bring it back in so it's going into the terminal I mean I could run it yeah I'll just run it here all the way back over here and now what's the best way of doing this is Hmm, let's have a look. So if I go overground, just a little bit, I'm going to have it. See, it's going to be very close to the uh, the queuing point. So, I mean, I could have, I'll have it quite long as such. And then it needs to go back on itself, which will be there. So... It's not ideal guys, very close to the check-in area, but this is designed really to be small impact um, terminal as such, so uh, we'll let them crack on with that. So while they're doing that, uh, so we need to mark this zone up, don't we? Uh, so where are we? So. Uh, domestic baggage claim area, which is going to be this area here. Uh, it's not connected to a baggage bay. Yeah, I know that. So, oh, right. Delete room, no connect. Over here. What's that done? Is that saying it's. Room size close. Uh, wow, he, uh, baggage claim data. So you need to t oh, okay. Right, that's all good, and that's now enabled. Now this will not. Baggage bay is not connected to a stand or a check-in desk. Okay, that's fair enough. So reconnect stand, clear stand. Connect to baggage bay. That's uh, now enabled that. Okay, so let's go ahead. While they're building this side, I'm going to get these um, 
Oops, get these all the check-in desks in place, I think. So, check-in desk and the plant. Oh, oh, wrong thing, sorry. The boarding desk. So, I've left it right to the... Well, let's, let's go back and put in the doors first. That'll give me a better outline. So, I'm using the medium doors. And they're going around the edge of each of the gate. Now, obviously, I can't do it on this side, so I'm going to put it there. And then let's go ahead and put these gates, boarding desks in. So, uh, where are we? So, we need to be on line with the other ones. So, there. 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 Uh, there. I'm going to do it this side just a little bit. Whoops. Using the keyboard there to move it along. Let's see. Right. So that's them. So that's connected to that. Reconnect stand. It's going to be commercial. Connect to baggage bay. Okay. That can be enabled. Right, they're still getting built. And it looks like all oh, this is now in place. So that's good. Right, so. Commercial. And we'll connect that to that one. Enable you. I want to that, yes. Commercial. Connect up. Enable. So it's just matter of doing it on all the ones I've just put in place so we can probably start looking at uh, getting these enabled soon but I'm going to need some staff in place and it's going to need some facilities and stuff built inside the terminal as well so we're going to have to look at doing that so there we go so pretty much that's that side open as such for the stand so we can turn these on as well. Excellent. Right, so we need to replicate it on the other side. Um, get these turned on as well. I uh, say, so guys, please bear in mind um, I'm no expert at building airports. I can't turn them on as of yet. So, so there we go. Right then guys, so I'm going to leave this video here for today. So please, if you haven't already, please come and follow me on Twitter at GamingPenfold. That would be much appreciated. Hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up for the video. And I'll see you soon guys. Thanks for watching.